What's this? Wait, what is that thing you've got attached to your face? Yeah, it always comes over the picture of her in Good morning. <laughs> There's something on my camera and it looks like I've got a spot on my nose. Um, yeah, good morning. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Don't know what number, 40 something or other. Um, it's Tuesday today and um, I apologise for no vlog last week. Things have just been a little bit crazy. Um, I had seven shoots last week. Also, the wedding is like 10 days away, um, so I had a lot to do with that and editing to, so that I can go away on my honeymoon and not have to worry about um, shoots being left unedited and stuff. So I was just really rubbish and I did have some footage but not really enough for a full vlog, so in the end I just decided not to do it. Um, but this week I'm going to try and do kind of a two-in-one, I'm going to do as hopefully the um, title suggests, a bit of a sort of spring favourites because I've got some really cool products that I haven't been able to fit into my vlogs um, and that I want to show you. So I thought I would do that in amongst this weekly vlog um, as a consolation for you not getting anything last week. Hopefully that makes up for it. So today I am off to Norfolk um, and I'm photographing a family that I actually photographed about three years ago maybe. Um, and since then they've had a little girl and they've got some new ponies and then last week they had a foal so that should be a really good shoot kids, foals, ponies um, should be a bit chaotic but fun <laughs> that's it, Dean what's wrong with your eye? <laughs>
So today is Thursday. I promised you a little favourites video, so I thought I would just sit down and very quickly do that now. It is going to be quite a quick one, um, but there are some things I really wanted to show you and feature in vlogs and just haven't had a chance, so I thought this was the perfect way to do it. It's nice and easy. Um, I will link to everything down below so that if you want to go and buy them um, or find them for yourself, then you can. Um, yeah, it's just nice and simple, isn't it? So. Um, Right, let's have a look. I've got a few things to show you. They've kind of, they're, I've not got so much of a variety as I had in my last favourites video, I don't think. But these are genuinely things that I have been using or have been sent and loved. I get sent quite a lot of things. They don't all make it into my videos and blogs. Um, I do let people know when they are sending me things that if I don't like the product or it just doesn't really fit with my life or my likes and um, interests and stuff, then I just won't feature it. I'll never give something a bad review because I don't think that's fair. It just might not be right for me. That doesn't mean it's a bad product, but um, I just won't feature it. So you will, I promise you, you will never hear about anything that I really don't like from me. You will only ever hear about things I have been using and enjoying and liking. So yeah, even if they were sent to me for free, if I don't like them, they don't make it into the videos. <laughs> I've got to start with Hi Ho Silver. As you all know, I'm a big Hi Ho Silver fan, hence why I became a Hi Ho Silver ambas amba ambassador, ambassador, ambassador. Um, and my first piece from them, well, my only piece from them for this um, favourites video is this, and I love it. Are we in focus? There we go. So this is the Sterling Silver, I've got to remember the title, Sterling Silver and 18 karat rose gold double chained snaffle necklace. I think I got that right. I mean, it's Sterling Silver, it's got a rose gold middle, it's double chained, it's a snaffle and it's a necklace. So we're going to go with that title. Um, but yeah, I really love this. I think this is really special. Um, I wear it all the time, as you will have seen in my vlogs and um, it gets a lot of lovely compliments. So I've got a couple of other things that have just been sent from Hi-Ho as well, but at the moment, this is my winner. Um, right, <laughs> this here, it's a hoof pick, but it is also a bottle opener. Honestly, what kind of genius is this? I feel like, Every tack room and tea room and yard and every horse box that goes and goes to shows and then has champagne to celebrate their wins needs one of these. That's genius. A hoof pick and a bottle opener. It's literally everything you need for summer. Um, so this is from Noble Outfitters. They sent me a box. There's one, one, I've got one other Noble Outfitters um, product in this favourites as well because they sent me some really lovely stuff. But this I just thought was brilliant. It really made me laugh when I opened it. I felt like everyone needs one of these. Every horsey person and establishment and horse box needs a hoof pick slash bottle opener. Um, I've got two magazines for you this month. So one, the first one is Style Reigns. The easiest way to describe Style Reigns is like a mixture between Vogue and an equestrian magazine. So as the title suggests, it's all about equestrian style. Um, so they feature, um, this one's got some lovely boots. This is actually uh, an edition that's focused on polo, I think. If I've picked up the right one, yeah it is. So um, they've got all kinds of like different, they've got passion for fashion, take a peek at our polo fashion preview and brush up on the biggest trends for the forthcoming season. Um, they've got lots of interviews with really sort of um, current brands. This is the um, British, is it the British Polo Gin or, hang on, where's it gone? Yeah, here we go, British Polo Gin, um, which is everywhere at the moment, you might have seen that. So yeah, lots and lots of different, there's a model here who is um, not only a top model but also a polo player so an interview with her um it's just really cool it's just really different 
And not only that, you get four issues a year, so it's kind of a um, seasonal magazine. And you, c I believe at the moment, I think ordinarily you can subscribe for £10 for the entire year. And at the moment, I think they've got an offer going on and it's like £7.99 or £8.99, something like that. For the whole year, that's for four editions. So, I mean, <laughs> you can't really go wrong for that. Again, a really nice little gift if you're thinking, if you want to get something a bit different, um, if you've got someone with an interest in horses and fashion, it's just really, really indulgent little read and I really like this magazine. So, magazine number two is Absolute Horse. So this is regional, so apologies to anybody who isn't from my area, sort of East Anglia, South East area. Um, Absolute Horse is one of the biggest magazines in this region. Um, and I am a columnist for them. I am a, do a monthly column. So this is May's edition, and this is my monthly column for May. There I am, and there's my photos. Um, yeah. And so I, it's, you know, there's a lot of um, local stuff, but there is also a lot of other features as well. Um, so we've got, what's in here? Again, a buyer's guide, um, all things bitting, um, jump off tips for success. So again, a lot of, um, ooh, a lot of good information in that one. And it's free as well. So I think if you go on their website, you can find out where they stock it, or you can order it online. Um, but I know in Gateshead Saddlery do it for those who are near me. Um, yeah, so grab that every month, because I'm in it. This is my other Noble Outfitters piece. So this here, this isn't gonna work, is it? Let me stand up. This is, it's got, you can't see the neck. Maybe I should have worn it. It's got like a cow neck. So basically, I don't know how well you can see the material. It's this really kind of warm, but breathable material. Um, and they sent me quite a few things in the post, but this I just love, and I don't know what it is about it. Firstly, it fits like a glove. Sorry, my battery went, so I had to um, go back and get the battery. Anyway, so this is from Noble Outfitters. What I was saying was, it's really flattering because it's quite tight fitting, it's quite snug, but it's got this lovely pocket at the front. So for anybody who, like I do, is a little bit self-conscious of their little paunch on their tummy, um, this is a really nice option. So it is snug and it is quite, it fits like a glove, it fits really well, um, but it does have that nice little pocket to kind of cover up all your, your fatty bits. <laughs> Sounds really bad, doesn't it? Um, it's also got this cow neck, um, which kind of is, I mean, this is the wrong day to film it because up until now, it's actually been quite cold. I was still wearing my tweed jacket last week at shoots, um, but today it's like 24 degrees. So I wouldn't be wearing this today, but I have been wearing it um, to walk the dog quite a lot to, to kind of test it out. And it's got this neck, which is really snuggly. Look, it kind of rolls up like that. I also believe it does turn into a hood if you want it to, although I haven't tried that. Um, but yeah, I just really love it. It's from Noble Outfitters. I believe it's called a fr First Crush Cowl. Um, and I think this is Wine Heather colour. I think I've got that right. Um, but I will, again, link in the description below so you can go and check it out if you want to. Um, I'm a, this is a size 12 if you know you want to compare um and so yeah so that's that um and the last thing actually last two things i wanted to mention the first um i haven't got anything to show you because they're not like that the first thing is small and supercharged group on facebook um i have mentioned this briefly in other vlogs but um, it's the group that Rhea Freeman runs. It's for small businesses and it is invaluable. If you are on Facebook and you are a small business, um, there's a lot of equine country rural businesses in there, but it's not just for those, it's for any small business owner. Um, it's just invaluable. It's just so worth joining. Um, there's a lot of really um, well-connected people and really knowledgeable people in there um, that can help you whenever you have business woes or troubles. Um, yeah, I would really, really highly recommend joining that. And one last thing, Barney wants to get involved. One last thing that I wanted to talk to you about um, 
is the book The Secret. Um, so I read The Secret about 10 years ago and it changed my life. No joke, that is not an exaggeration, it changed my life. And I'm so glad that I read it um, before I started my business because I think it has been instrumental in um, the success I've had with my photography. Um, so I just recently re listened to it or reread it but I listened to it on audible um, in my car because I hate driving and I do a lot of it um, and I feel like it's a waste of time so I have been listening to audiobooks and I feel like that actually makes the time more productive um, so I listened to The Secret on audible um, to and from my shoot and it was just really good to have a refresher um, and sort of um, go over the things that it teaches you. Um, so it's by Rhonda Byrne um, and it's a little bit far-fetched and a little bit kind of kooky and crazy but you have to take the bits that I think help you from it um, and then kind of forget about some of the crazy bits that they talk about in it. But it's about positive thinking and it's about um, the law of attraction and attracting um, po positive things into your life using positive thinking and it's just incredible it's if nothing else it's just so good for your mindset I am a super positive person anyway I try and see the positive in everything I can't be dealing with negative people I kind of try and avoid them as much as possible um, and a lot of it has come from reading The Secret 10 years ago and I think it's just changed me as a person. It's made me so much more positive, um, so much more forward thinking and optimistic. Um, yeah, so I would, if you haven't read it, then I think not just for business, everybody needs to read The Secret. My brother also absolutely lives by it. Um, it's just a really, really good book um, and I would highly recommend it. So that's all I've got. Um, I need to hurry now to my next shoot, um, which is about half an hour away. Um, so yeah. Good morning. It is Friday morning and it's 26 degrees. It's so hot already this morning. Um, so it's gonna be a really nice one. Maybe a little bit too hot if you've got things to do. But never mind, we can't complain. <laughs> complain when it's raining and then we complain when it's warm. Um, so this morning I am off to a yard over near sort of Reading direction, let's take these off, um, for a business shoot. Um, I'm off to a rehab yard, so they've got like water treadmills and that type of thing, um, and they rehab ponies that I guess have been injured um, or are coming back into work. I don't know, I'll find out more when I get there. Um, I'll sit down and do a little um, brief with them find out exactly what they want from me um, yeah I think they just want photos for like new website and social media and that sort of thing and I love doing these shoots because I am so passionate about my business um, so it's always nice to work with other people who are as passionate about their own businesses and working in the same industry as me um, and we can work together someone's gonna about to walk past and watch me vlog which is always a little bit awkward um, <laughs> yeah so we can, it's, it's just nice to work together to kind of um, help them create images that give their brand uh, more of an identity and support them in what they're doing and yeah just sort of take their business to the next level um, and I always find that really fun so yeah you can come with me of course <laughs>
morning. It is Sunday today um, and we are just going over to my mum's to spend the whole day doing wedding stuff. But first of all, I have a new project um, which is going to be a monthly project so you'll probably be hearing quite a lot about it. Um, I don't know if you've heard of My Horse Box. They are a subscription box um, which you get monthly, you sign up, you subscribe, you get a monthly box and they have all kinds of things in it, um, like little gifts and um, all sorts for your horse and for you. <laughs> so I will be doing either a monthly shoot or bi-monthly, we're not quite sure yet. Is bi-monthly twice a month or every two months? Because it might be every two months. Um, yeah, we're just going to see how things go. And, but this is the first month that I'm doing it, um, so this is kind of a trial period. Um, yeah, so I just thought I would show you a little bit more about them and I'll show you the box so you can have a little look and see what's going in. So this is the box. Obviously I've already opened it so um, I've kind of ripped the stuff and then it opens up like this. It's such a nice box for the packaging junkies amongst you. You'll be appreciating this. Um, and then you've got a little bit of tissue and sort of an introductory um, leaflet kind of tells you all about what they do um, and then inside you've got a few leaflets and then sort of um, what you call them discount leaflets so 20% off of Hawkins Organic 10% off of Ringcraft Equestrian and um, there's a Supreme Products one 20% off of all Supreme Products and then in here we've got all of the gifts so what have we got we've got a pink hoof clay we've got some reflective tail bandages some Equitech socks um, uh, soothing rapid relief. Oh, for mud fever, rain rash, sweet itch, and cracked heels from Safe Care Equine. Big old heavy bottle. And a car sticker that says slow down. So that's the type of thing that you get in the My Horse Box subscription boxes. Um, so I just thought I would show you those because um, it's my new little project that I'm doing. Um, it's either going to be every month or every couple of months, we're not, we're not quite sure yet, but we're just going to see how we go and this will be the first month that we've done something. So I'm really looking forward to working with these guys because I see a lot of them on social media um, and I've been following their progress since they started. So yeah. So we are home now, um, we've spent all day put, do, putting finishing touches to the garden, putting lights up and painting things. and all sorts um so i just thought i would wrap up this vlog and it's going to be the last one before my wedding so my next vlog i'm not sure when it will be because we get married on the saturday um and then we fly to jamaica on the sunday um and i don't know if i'm going to want to put a vlog up on the monday although i might be quite excited to edit it because i am going to get people to vlog throughout my wedding i'm just going to leave my camera on the table and if they pick it up and um, take over then we'll just see what we get so I might be quite excited to um, to edit it so you might get a vlog on Monday and if you do it'll be the wedding so it'll be a good one um, but otherwise I'm probably going to take my laptop on the plane to Jamaica so I'll probably edit one there um, so yeah it'll either be honeymoon or wedding next and I don't know when that'll be but hopefully it'll be good so it'll be worth waiting for if it doesn't come on Monday bit scary <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe um, and leave a comment and all the usual nice stuff and I will see you when I'm a married woman